right. This is Monday the 13th. Please make sure you put your first and last name at the top of your packet for this week. I hope you guys had a great, great weekend. Today, again, is the 13th. This week, the items that are due this week, we have our warm-up, of course. And again, our warm-up is due on Friday. Okay, we do this in class, but if you miss a day, you can always watch the daily video. Okay, um, the homework, again, is due on Friday. You can submit um on thursday after we after you complete the homework please make sure that you uh show your work a lot of times when you don't show your work you're not getting full credit okay and i do write on there reasons why i take points off your assignment remember each day is worth 25 points okay each day for both of these is worth 25 points again if you if you miss a day or if you don't understand something, you can always watch the video. You can always text me and remind. If you have help, take a picture of the problem that you need help on and just text me and remind. Okay. We do have a quiz at the end of the week. Our quiz at the end of the week is on rotations and dilation. Okay. It's on rotation and dilation. It's on rotation and dilation. Yes, baby. Make sure you study notes and you can go back and watch the videos as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quiz. We have a quiz on Fridays. Okay. Any questions about the items that are due? And if we have more things that I decide to make due, then I'll just we'll just add them here so you'll know. You okay? All right, Monday. Today, we're going to write down what our EQs are, after which we're going to work on the warm-up. If you haven't already started yet, I'm going to go through the warm-up with you and make sure that you understand the homework. I'm going to model, okay, I'm going to model how to do dilation today, and then we're going to do some guided practice problems. The guided practice problems that we do, I need you to uh, put in your folder. Please make sure you put that in your folder. I haven't decided if we're going to put it in our notebook yet or if we're going to um, submit in Canvas. So for right now, we're just going to put those guided practice problems in our, um, in our folder. The homework for tonight is going to be day one homework. The homework for tonight is day one homework. At this time, I want you to work on your warm up, and I'm gonna pause for the calls. Give you some time to work on your warm up. At, wait a minute. Let me go ahead and write the essential questions down. I'm sorry. Essential questions are also on the board. The first one is, what are the different types of transformations? You should be getting these right by now on your own. What are the different types of transformations? And I need you to define them. Make sure you give the definition. Okay. There are four. Two, what is the difference between pre image and image? Mm -hmm. Do y'all know where to find the information? Now, wait, when I give these to you for a grade, there's no excuse. You should make a hundred on this. Because I'm going to give it to you until I feel like we know it. And yes. I, but if you don't know the answers to these questions, right, just right off the top of your head, where's a good source? 
for you to find this information. I didn't have breakfast and I've got a horrible heart. Right? It's, it it's okay, right? Dave. Interactive yep. notebook. Good. Very you good. That? Is that what you said? Interactive mm -hmm. notebook. There you go. Grab you a piece of candy. All right. Describe how to perform. And we're describing how to perform the following. The first is translation. Describe that. Leave a little space. The second, reflection. Describe how we did that. How do you do how do you perform a reflection? Describe how to perform a rotation. And the last that we're doing this week is dilation. I didn't hear it mm, Just a little bit, maybe. Describe how to find a scale factor. Describe how to find the scale factor. And the letter that we use for scale factor is K. All right, and that is what we'll be going over this week. And it'll be K is equal to something or another. Okay? That will be the formula that we're going to use. And this question we'll actually be answering tomorrow. All right, I'm going to pause it here, and I want us to work on our warm-up. I'm going to pause it here, and I want us to work on our warm-up. Okay, so let's look at the warm-up. Let's look at the warm-up and see what we need to do. This is an algebraic expression, so we're going to use order of operations to solve this. So first thing here, we look to see what we can add, uh, do in the parentheses, and we cannot add these terms because they're not like terms, so we skip that step. Now we're going to multiply in order from left to right because we don't have any exponents. This is distributive property, which is multiplication. So we're going to do that first. Negative 3 times both numbers in the parentheses. Negative 3 times x. What's negative 3 times x? Yes. Ne negative 3x. What's negative 3 times a positive 4? Negative 3 times positive 4. Anybody? Is it a positive or a negative? It's a negative. And you're adding. Multiply. What's 3 times 4? 12. So that's negative 12. Bring everything else down. Okay? Now, the next thing is we're going to do is combine like terms. What terms can we combine here? Which terms can we combine? Come on, somebody got to know. Yes, Aaliyah? Uh, 5X and 3X. Okay, 5X and 3X. What's negative 3X plus 5X? Or you say positive 5X minus 3X. What does that give us? Yes. Two. Two what? Positive Positive 2 what? X. X. So we combine those. Now we can combine negative 12 with 8. What's negative 12 plus 8? Yes. Negative. Negative 12 plus 8. Negative 4. Okay. So now we are rotating clockwise. So when you rotate clockwise is that to the left or to the right yes good it's to the right how many times is 90 one. it's one turn it's one turn so if we were to graph these ordered pairs look at this we would have graph these ordered pairs we will graph one and up one two three we would graph two over two and up one b and we graph one one which is c rotating it one time to the right is moving it one time this way so it will be in this fourth quadrant here it will be in this fourth quadrant so a is over one two three and down one so that's positive three negative one 
So that's A prime, positive 3, negative 1. B is over 1 time and down 1, 2. So that's positive 1 and negative 2. And C is to the right 1 time and down 1. So that's positive 1, negative 1. Raise your hand if you got these right. Okay, good deal. So pause, give you a chance to write. Take out your interactive notebook. Um, take out your interactive notebook. I do want to show you where the homework is and, and make sure you understand what you're doing tonight. But please take out your interactive notebook. I'll pause. All right, let's look at the homework. This is day one's homework, Monday. Monday. This is day one. Day two is Tuesday. Day three is Wednesday. And for uh, Thursday, Day four, we're gonna. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do on that day. I'm gonna give you something to study. We're gonna be studying, but I will give that to you on Thursday. Okay. All right, so with the first day, this is what they want you to do. They want you to translate. That means they want you to move. If it's positive six, adding six to the X, that means they want you to go to the right six units. So this is six units right. Since it's minus 8 to the y, that is 8 units down. Please go back and look at your notes. After you move this, then the next thing they want you to do is to flip it over the y. So you're going to do two transformations. You're going to do this first. And then you're going to flip it over the Y. So graph these ordered pairs. This is the pre-image. And we could do that part together. This is negative 2 and 7. I'll make this X and Y axis just a little darker so I can see it, okay? So we got negative 2. Start at the origin. 1, 2. And then go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is D. Then we got E. Start the origin. That's two, comma, three. So go over to the right. One, two, positive three is up. One, two, and three. This is E. F is zero, which is right here on the X, and one is up. This is F. And G is negative four, that's to the left. One, two, three, four. And positive 5 is up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is that A, C, and D? A, I can't. You have to tell me what you, what you mean. What is D, E, F, G. D, S, and E, F, G. 
It's on your paper. This is the pre-image. Then you're going to take each of these points and you're going to move it six units to the right and eight units down. Six units to the right, eight units down. Six units to the right, eight units down. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is D prime. I mean, yeah, D prime. E, do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F, move to the right six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. G. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so these ordered pairs, D prime is right here. This is start the origin, positive one, two, three, four, and down one. So that's four, negative one. E prime, positive one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Positive eight. One, two, three, four, five down. Negative five. F prime, positive one, two, three, four, five, six, and down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, negative seven. And G prime, positive one, two, negative. One, two, three. Positive two, negative three. Last thing is to reflect it over the Y. This is the Y axis right here. Make this darker. So now we're going to flip this over here. So look at G. G is one, two away. So G is going to be one, two away. It's two tick marks on G now because this is the second time G has moved. D is, look how far D is away from this line. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. This is D. Prime, prime. Two tick marks. E, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight away from this line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two tick marks. Second time E has moved. F. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, sorry. 
one, two, three, four, five, six away from the y-axis. So move it one, two, three, four, five, six. This is F with two tick marks. Any questions about that? Okay, I'll pause for the call. Okay, good people. We should have our interactive notebook out. Um, the last page that we worked on was rotation guided practice. Um, let's make sure that we paste this down. This is what we've done. We need to paste this down. Paste this down. Okay, we got this paste down. And again, this is page 18, okay? This, if you didn't finish, you need to make sure that you finish this on your own time because we already talked about how to do this. We did this part together. But I need you to finish the rest of this on your own if you haven't done so, okay? Remember, your notebook is a project grade. So everything we put in here, you need to make sure that you completed it. Let's move on to page 19. Let's move on to page 19. Yes, baby. Yes, that's fine. All right, so we got Q. One, this is quarter one, and this is page 19, okay? And we're working on dilation. We're working on dilation today. A star, this is the definition for dilation. Yes, that was page, what page was that? That's page 16. Okay. Go back and watch the videos of the days that you were missing. Dilation. Dilation is to get very good, to get bigger or smaller. By a scale factor. Okay, so uh, what's the letter for scale factor? K. K. Remember we talked about this last week a little bit? If K is greater than 1, what's going to happen to the, the shape? It's going to get bigger. The shape is going to get bigger. The shape is going to get bigger. It's going to enlarge. If the scale factor K is less than 1, what's going to happen to the shape then? The shape will get smaller. The shape will reduce in size, okay? It's going to get smaller. It's going to reduce in size. It's going to get smaller. Okay, so there's a little half sheet that I gave you that looks like this. And we're going to do an example here. And then we're going to do some um, guided practice problems.
All right. So again, we talked about transformations. It's how objects move on a coordinate plane. That's just a friendly reminder there. Dilation is a transformation where the object is either going to get bigger or smaller by a scale factor. The letter for scale factor is K. Okay. How do you actually perform a trans, uh, I'm sorry, a dilation? You multiply. Please circle the word multiply. That's how you do that. Yes, baby. Hurry up, please. You multiply. Okay. So whatever the scale factor is, you're going to multiply K, which is represents scale factor, by both X and Y. This is what we did last week. Okay. All right, so let's look at let's look at the original image here. The original image is called our pre-image. And we're going to graph those ordered pairs, okay? This is our pre-image. So we're going to take find 2 2, negative 2 and negative 2, sorry. This is the origin. You go to the left one two times cuz it's negative 2. The first order, the first number is your x coordinate. The second number is your y coordinate. So you're going to go down to one, two. Please graph this point. This is W. Then we're going to graph x, which is negative two and positive three. So look. Start at the origin, go to the left one, two times because the X is negative two, positive three, go up three, one, two, and three. This is X. What's today? Monday, the 13th. Why is five comma three? Start at the origin. Go over to five. One, two, three, four, five to the right because it's positive. And up one, two, and three. This is why. Z, again, start at the origin, is five comma negative two. So go to the right five. One, two, three, four, five. And y is negative two, so go down one, two. This is z. So we're going to connect the points which form a quadrilateral four sided figure or a rectangle. I'll pause to give you a chance to write this down, make sure you have it graphed correctly. All right, so let's look at this. Anyone still copying that down? We good? Okay. All right, so our scale factor is one half. You see right here it says scale factor is a half. So that means K is equal to one half. So that means you're going to take your K and you're going to multiply one half times both the X and the Y. So the rule looks like this. It looks like K times X and then K times Y because you're going to multiply both, uh, both X and Y by K. So let's look at W for W prime. What's half of negative 2? If you cut negative 2 in half, what's half of that? Yes, it's negative 1. So we have negative 1 comma negative 1. Let's look at X for X prime. What's half of negative 2? Again, negative 1. What's half of 3? If you cut 3 in half, what's that? Mm -mm, not 2. 1.5. 1. 1.5. That's half of 3. 1.5 plus 1.5 is 3. 
Let's look at y for y prime. What's half of five if you cut five in half? 2.5. What's half of three? What's half of three again? 1.5. Just put it in the basket. Yes, thank you. Let's look at this one. This is Y prime. Forgot to put the prime. Let's do Z prime. Again, what's half of five? 2.5. And what's half of a negative two? Negative one. Negative one. Mm -hmm. Half of two is negative. Half of negative two is negative one. So now we are going to graph these ordered pairs. Please focus. Um, if you can't focus and write at the same time, then just wait, okay? And we'll write, and then uh, well, I'll do it, and then you can write after I do it, okay? So please watch. Let's look at W prime. That's negative 1 comma negative 1. Start at the origin right here. Negative 1 means go to the left 1. Negative 1 for Y means go down 1. This is my new location for W. That's W prime. Left one, down one. You need pencil? Mm -hmm. It is. Okay, so let's do X prime. So start at the origin. Negative one is to the left one time. And one and a half, that's up one, and it's halfway between two and one. So halfway between two and one going up is right here. This is X prime. See that? This is halfway between one and two. Over, left one, and up one and a half. Y prime, look at this. Start at the origin. It says two and a half. So go over one, two and a half is halfway between two and three. So that's right here. And then go up one and a half. So from here, go up one and halfway between one and two is one and a half. So that's in the middle of this box right here. This is Y prime in the middle of this box right here. Z prime. Start at the origin again. Positive 2.5. Let's go over one, two. Two and a half is in the middle right here. And then it says negative one, so go down one, right here. This is Z prime. So as you can see, the rectangle reduced in size. This rectangle right here is your pre-image. That was before the move. And the one in the middle right here is your image. That's after the move. All right, I'm going to fold this just like this so that I can fit it on this page, okay? I'm going to paste it back so I can fit it on this page. Yes, you can, baby. Yes, yeah. Yes, make it quick, please. Can you fold it down? Again, make sure this is paced down. Okay. We're gonna push this to the side. You can leave it open so you can have it as notes. And we're gonna work on this as gotta practice. Yes, sir. You have to wait. We have a student out. Okay. 
All right. Let's look at this. Okay. In math words, the word dilate means to do what? To get bigger or smaller. So here, really, we're going to put to enlarge or reduce a figure. Okay. And reduce. It's really the size of a figure, but if the scale factor is less less than one, what does that mean? If it's less than one, what's gonna happen to the uh, the figure? The figure gets what? Smaller. Smaller. If the scale factor is greater than one, the figure gets bigger. All right, so here, we're doing number one. We're going to graph the dilated um, figure when the scale factor is 2. That means in this problem, K is equal to 2. The rule is, is that you're going to multiply K times X and K times Y. This is the rule. It's the rule for dilation. So whatever K is, multiply it times X and Y. So we've got to write our ordered pairs for J, K, and L. What's the ordered pair for J? What's this ordered pair for J right here? Start at the origin. We go over two and up how many? Four. One, two, three, four. Very good. So it's two comma four. What's the ordered pair for K? What's the ordered pair for K, DJ? One, one. For K, you said four. That means we go over one, two, three, four, and up one. Not quite. What's this ordered pair for? I said four. What'd you say? I said I said positive one and negative one and positive one. Which one? Tell me. For I, K. For K? Yeah. Positive one over one, and then what's that? Up one. Up one. I said four. Why are you get so defensive? You all right? You need a hug? For me? Yeah, you get so defensive so easily. Let me know if you need a hug, okay? All right, L. Amanda? Four, four and zero. Four and zero. Go over one, two, three, four, and zero is here. Good job. Okay. Oh, I don't mind. Now because no, I that's okay. You got to do what you got to do. All right. So now we're going to take K2 and we're going to multiply it times both the X and the Y. Okay. All right. Look at this. So we got 2 here times 2. What's 2 times 2? Good job, four. What's four times two? Eight. 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 Very good. Oh, so we just, oh. Uh, so all you're doing is just multiplying the scale factor by the, the two, the X and the Y. Okay. All right, so let's look at this one. What's one times the scale factor two? Two. 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 Again, one times two. 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 That's your new location for K. Let's do L. We do four times two. What's four times two? Eight. Eight. And then zero times two? Zero. zero. So those are our new ordered pairs. Okay. So now it's gotten twice as big because the scale factor is two.
So let's look, let's graph these ordered pairs. Let's go four and eight. So start at the origin and go to the right four times and up eight. Oops, sorry, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If anyone is struggling with um, naming points and um, plotting ordered pairs, I'm in my room every morning from 7 to 7.30 during home base just working on my AC paperwork. If anyone needs individualized help with this, if you're like, what in the world is she talking about? X, Y, and up and down and sideways and backwards, please come see me because I can help you. Or you can click B2 okay. or smaller. And her room number is also on my webpage if you forget. It's on the home page. My door is closed during home base because there's so much commotion and I'm usually trying to get a lot of stuff done during that time, just knock on the door. All right, so we got two, um, two and two. So go start at the origin, go to the right, one, two for X, and then positive two, that's up, one, two. This is my new location for K. This is K prime. And then I'm gonna put K on this side. Eight and zero. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And zero is here. This is L. And connect your points. So as you can see, the object just got bigger. This is my pre before the move. This is my image after the move. <laughs> the pre-image does not have tick marks. The image has tick marks. Before, after. However many times it has moved, that's how many tick marks it's going to have. All right, so let's do number five. Anybody still doing number four? Okay, I'll pause for the call. All right. Now we're gonna write these ordered pairs in. This is my pre-image. This is before the move. So we got M is right here. What's the ordered pair for M? Anybody? What's this ordered pair right here for M? Yes, Tater. Three, one, three. One and one, two, three. Very good. So put one comma three. What's my ordered pair for for N, yes. Positive three and positive two. Very good, baby. Positive three and positive two. What about O? What about O, uh, Amanda? Oops. O is positive two and negative two. Very good. And somebody said something earlier. P, I want to give you a chance to speak. Very good. Negative one and zero. So now in this problem, it says graph the dilated image of the quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a four-sided figure, M, N, O, and P, using the scale factor three. Okay. What letter represents scale factor? K. K. So K, or my scale factor here, is equal to what number? Three. Three. The rule for, for uh, dilation is to multiply K, whatever K is, times both your x coordinate and your y coordinate that's why you see this kx ky that means you're going to multiply k times whatever x is and whatever y is to get your new ordered pairs what's your new ordered pair m prime what's your new ordered pair if dilation is six uh -uh, it's three what's your new ordered pair what comma what Somebody said it. Three comma what? Nine. Good. Everybody see where you just multiply across. One times three and three times three. Oh. Oh. It's just, oh. 
All you're doing is multiplying three times both of these. What about n? What's my new point for n? Um, three and six. Uh, three nine. times three is what? Nine. 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 And nine and six. Common mistake. Don't get upset. It's a common mistake, right? <laughs> and then this one. What's three times two? Six. Six. And then what's negative two times three? Negative six. Negative six. All we're doing is multiplying three times both X and Y. Do you, do you see how the, you, when you dilate, when you multiply it by a positive number, it gets that, your image gets larger. If you multiply that times a fraction, it's going to get what? It's going to get smaller. All right, so let's look at this. What's my ordered pair for P? Negative. Negative. Six. How do we get no, negative, negative six? Three. Negative yeah, exactly. I was going to say negative five. three. Somebody, we're six <laughs> because I was thinking. Zero. And zero. Very good, baby. I was so confused. Don't be confused. Go with your gut. I was like, where is the zero part? Oh, where that? Yeah, mm, I was thinking the same thing. But it's okay. All right, so let's graph these ordered pairs. We got three comma nine. So here at three, I'm at zero, go over one, two, and three, and then go up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is M prime. Then nine and six, start at the origin, Go over nine and then go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is N prime. Then positive six. Go over positive six and down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is O prime and negative one and I'm sorry, negative three and zero. Go over one, two, three. This is P prime. Pre image here in the middle. And this is your image here on the outside. All right, let's put this in our folder, please. Make sure that your first and last name is on it. Make sure that you put your first and last name on it. Put this in your folder. Put your packet in your folder. And let's get ready to go, okay?